Hey guys, uh, I'm going to do a quick review of this Plus Model resin blade or snowplow blade. I haven't seen many reviews of uh, Plus Model stuff on YouTube, so I thought I'd do one just so even if you're not interested in this, you can get an idea of what Plus Model does. So, uh, it's their part number, their box number, model number, whatever is 24 or sorry, 240. And this is actually intended where they specify the Ilitary uh, Mercedes L3000, which is a mid size, mid duty truck. And the obligatory box shot, there's no other pictures, nothing. And that's what I paid for it in Canadian from the barrel store who shipped it out really fast for me. Uh, and they've also just recently upgraded their website quite a bit. It's much more usable. Take a look. Anyway, to move on with things, uh, this, hopefully everything's in shot, is the contents of the kit. Let me see. Yep. Uh, now, there's a fair bit of the stuff falling off the parts, which is just uh, extra resin. You can see there's quite a lot of it. This is going to take a fair bit of time to clean up all the different parts. Uh, that one's not bad. That one, or this one is almost uh, solid. But you get the idea from this one, you can just, it's just opaque. So the castings are good. They're nice and clean and sharp. The pore molds are a bit big on some of them. And some like this one, uh, I'm going to have to take a hard look at the plans and stuff and try and figure out exactly where the part begins. I assume it's down here and I'm supposed to cut along here and here I'm not entirely sure if the, this plate at the back is supposed to steer or not so I'm in for a lot of cutting and sanding with this one uh, yeah one thing that did happen is it this one yeah this uh, piece knocked out you can see it right in here. Not sure if that was in shipping and storage. Uh, might have even been me. I've got the part that's missing, or the bit that's missing right here. I'll be able to glue it back in. But it gives you an idea of how finely and how delicate even these ribs can be. We've also got some wire and a little bit of photo action with all the resin. So just so you get a reference this is one of the few pictures I can find I can't find any pictures of the real one uh, and this is a model that I presume uses the same kit built up uh, one of the main differences is there's no in the kit there's no Neotech light and no means to attach it or license plate uh, so obviously whoever built this has gone a little bit above and beyond but this is fairly useful because it shows some other things along with the uh, the box art but to the instructions for now that's your back page that's your front page with your parts guide uh, apparently if you're using the original kit you have to make a few cuts there's no real index uh, of the instructions. So I presume that's your hobby knife making a cut. Uh, I, I'm not even sure what you're supposed to be doing here aside from attaching the wheels. And then you're into dealing with the wire, uh, attaching the, the base 
or the main mount of the, the snow plow. And this seems to be your instruction to drill. Not very clear. Uh, even on the box art, it's not particularly clear what you're doing. But then when you look at this photo, or this model it's built, yeah, it becomes clear it's a control. It's probably got a wheel in there inside to turn your photo etch chain, which will do something. I'm not entirely sure if that's going to raise the entire thing, which makes no sense using a chain there that's going to move it backwards and forwards. This probably changes the angle somehow. don't know. Anyway, moving back to this, the instructions are not particularly clear on what you're supposed to be doing. Obviously, you've got your back plate going on with its supports, and then you're attaching parts, but to rather unspecified areas, so I guess it's going to take some fiddling and studying the, uh, the picture of what was done. And then the actual hinge brackets go on the snow, the plow's backing plate, I assume. And then at the very end, you get to put the actual plow together and then finally attach it. And again, that's it. Now, this thing is big. I've showed quickly in the picture before. Move this all aside. I can't butt this together and dry fit it just now because the resin cast or the resin plugs are so big. But that's close enough for government work. And then the trusty malt here. So that gives you an idea of the size of the blade. This thing is going to clear a pretty wide path. Anyway, so that's about all I can tell you about this kit just now until I get it built, which will be sometime in the new year. So take care. Have a good night, fellas.